updated local clinical trials regulations. Uh, I will speak about news, uh, rec recent news, and impact on uh, clinical trial supply. Um, just briefly, uh, some topics of my presentation. Uh, first of all, I would like to make some small overview about clinical trials in Eastern European region and the uh, Ukrainian role here. Uh, we're talking about Ukraine as a perspective area for conducting of clinical trials, uh, particularly about geographic location, total area and population. Uh, some statistical data of clinical trials in uh, Ukraine during the last decade. Uh, you know that uh, a lot of sponsors and clients are thinking about uh, Ukraine as an emerging market, but we have some pro and contra aspects regarding uh, place of the country, uh, projects in Ukraine and neighbor countries. Uh, then I will talk about a little bit about particularities of clinical logistics in Ukraine, uh, and then uh, some news about legal framework. Uh, established in Ukraine during last uh, months. Uh, just a few words about uh, geographical location of Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine cons uh, considers as a, a one of the biggest country uh, in so-called emerging uh, region, uh, Western, uh, 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 Eastern European emerging region. Ukraine, uh, one of the um, biggest countries and a uh, potential country for uh, good and uh, speed recruitment. Uh, Ukraine covering a total area around about uh, 600 square meters and a uh, recent population in Ukraine around about uh, 42, 000, uh, 42 millions. And um, uh, this Ukraine making uh, the second largest country in the European continent after Russia uh, with naive uh, population, population of naive uh, patients. Uh, this map uh, briefly describes uh, the location of sites in Ukraine, the uh, most developed area uh, where majority of clinical trials sites locate. This is south and west and eastern part of the region and of course capital of the country is Kiev. I represent the company which locates in the uh, eastern uh, Ukrainian region uh, where uh, place around about 45 percent of clinical sites. The number of clinical trials during the last decade uh, conducted in Eastern Europe and in Ukraine particularly, has grown considerably over the last decade, 10 years. These slides, this diagram, shows a dynamic of clinical trials application rate in Central and Eastern European region, uh, particularly for six countries, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, Serbia, Ukraine, and Russia. Uh, we can see that uh, during the last 10 years, CT application rates in Ukraine and uh, neighbors, neighbor country of Ukraine increased uh, step by step and now has it in a stable position. Uh, nevertheless, some experts noted that potential of Ukraine uh, at that moment used uh, about 10 to 15 percent. So we are expecting uh, placing the new projects in Ukraine during the next five to ten years. The next slide demonstrates the rate of clinical trials application in Ukraine during the last ten years. Uh, we can see uh, that uh, during the last ten years uh, number of clinical trials application in Ukraine increased in six times at least. And uh, during 2011 and uh, 2012, uh, dynamic shows uh, good growth and good uh, increase. 
the next slide and uh, the the next slide demonstrates modern trends uh, regarding uh, clinical trials applications, uh, uh, clinical trials indications uh, applied to a uh, regulatory authority. The majority of ap applied protocols uh, has indication area oncology. The second place is psychiatry and neuroscience and pulmonology trials uh, occupies the third place uh, within the structure of applications in Ukraine. What is the pro and contrast regarding placing the clinic or regarding application uh, for clinical trials in Ukraine? Um, first of all, about uh, pros. The, uh, the first point is the availability of numerous highly qualified research centers. The second one is the uh, convenient geographic location of the country and uh, delivery time within Ukraine uh, not more than 24 hours compared with Russia, where sometimes uh, delivery of one shipment from central depot to sites can take more than 72 hours. Uh, next pros is developing road network and strong web of career services, including global companies, and including possibility to organize call chain. A full range of logistic service is also one of advantage. Uh, and uh, during last five years, uh, Ukraine reached uh, international standards implemented as national standards within the country, particularly for uh, storage and distribution of investigational products, uh, particularly in uh, um, organization uh, cold chain and other necessary items for organizing the uh, high technology clinical trials. Uh, this is uh, the next list of um, possible uh, contras. Ukrainian legislation does not match completely EU, UK and USA legislation. Sometimes we are experienced in high and unforeseen costs for customs experience. Uh, sometimes some companies experience in long time taken to obtain the individual export approval or individual import license, uh, then this can take more than 30 days. Therefore, our company uh, strives to minimize the contrast and uh, to opposite the uh, pros of clinical trials in, in this country. Um, during last five years, Ukraine experienced several rounds of updated local regulations regard, regarding clinical trials. The European Directive 2001 was implemented in 2006 and since 2006 we experienced in uh, three updated. The last updation uh, was a few months ago. In general, the legislation uh, about clinical trials uh, in Ukraine include three um, topics or three parts. First of all, this is general regulation of approval and conduction of clinical trials. Then tax and customs uh, legislation and uh, specific legislation for storage of medications including investigational products and uh, particularities uh, of uh, distribution and storage and deliver. Um, I would like to say that a regular updating of local regulatory uh, authorities' requirements affect the study start up uh, time frame considerably. Uh, at that moment, uh, in average, uh, the start up phase can take from 140 days up to uh, six months. Nevertheless, uh, Ukrainian uh, regulatory authority applies uh, all possible forces to make this startup phase shorter. 
and uh, the result of this is was a recent update, up, uh, update of the regulation, and we are expecting that uh, the startup phase, including uh, su um, supplying sites with uh, initial uh, investigational product sets, uh, will decrease up to 45 days. Uh, the next point is the state continually, uh, as I told you before, the state continually updates to regulate the turnover of medicines in the country and the investigational medicinal product. It is very important uh, for sponsors and for logistic companies to know that uh, uh, since uh, beginning of this year, a uh, company which provides supplying service uh, must uh, sign the contract with the sites regarding some supplying uh, of investigation product and regarding collection of biosamples. Nevertheless, I would like to uh, focus on positive forecast for clinical logistics in Ukraine for the current year. Uh, last year, uh, during one of the conferences, I heard uh, that World Korea noted three most critical countries in the world regarding, clinic, uh, regarding uh, investigational product supply. It was a China for, due to the long time of uh, um, getting the approval. It was Brazil for different, uh, for very difficult uh, procedure for the customs clearance. And uh, also Ukraine was noted as a one of the uh, complicated country due to um, applying so-called six uh, uh, methods of uh, evaluation uh, cost evaluation of the uh, shipments, particularly shipments with uh, investigational product. Uh, it caused dramatically, dramatic increasing of the uh, price for the sponsor, for the clients. Uh, nevertheless, I would like to underline that uh, this situation depends of uh, uh, experience of consignee. And uh, application of uh, this uh, sixth method of calculation customs cost uh, could be very well negotiated in case if uh, consignee in Ukraine and sponsor or client uh, knows particularities uh, regarding papers which has to be submitted with purpose to uh, save the money and not decrease, don't decrease the cost during the customs formalities. Cost of the shipment, I mean. Uh, nevertheless, uh, next positive forecast clinical logistic. VAT, uh, import, in, import VAT may be eliminated for impact medicines and investigational medical products and health products uh, during at least until uh, 2013. Uh, we are expecting, expected, uh, we are expecting update of customs code of Ukraine and we have already experienced in simplification of customs procedure uh, and uh, uh, dramatic decreasing of number of papers re, uh, which has to be submitted uh, for customs formalities. Uh, I would like to uh, note that some procedures for uh, steps uh, that must be taken to obtain the investigation medic product, uh, medical product shipment. Uh, to obtain the license for uh, IMP shipments into country. First of all, uh, consignee has to apply to the State Expert Center for the primary, primary evaluation of uh, submitted documents. It usually takes seven days. Then uh, Minister of Health uh, has to uh, approve uh, conclusion of the State Expert Center about possibility uh, for the input. It usually takes two, three days. And uh, fortunately, customs procedures uh, at that moment took not, uh, usually it takes not more than one week, it's a maximum. Usually it's one day. Uh, at that moment, uh, the legal system of the country is being actively modernized and undergoing uh, Western uh, Europe oriented economic, uh, uh, economic development and standards. It is important to mention uh, that uh, uh, during this year, Ukraine switched to international financial reporting system. 
which uh, make our life as a, a clinical trial supply uh, organization much more easier. In 2012, customs legislation has been significantly, significantly simplified. The new customs code unified with European norms and has been adopted. As a result, the number of customs procedures was minimized. Among the other important innovations, it is necessary to uh, stress the following. The time restrictions for customs clearance, up to four hours, up to one week, as I told before, at the moment of declaration. Next one, the possibility to apply customs clearance documents electronically. Then complete list of documents needed, uh, complete list of uh, document needed for the customs clearance. Uh, personal liability of customs official, officials uh, increased for illegal clearance delay. And uh, finally, uh, we have the possibility of mediating settlements of customs rules violations. One of important innovations is uh, in the area of non-tariff regulations to import the non-authorized medications like investigational products and produce only two authorizing documents should be obtained from Ministry of Health at that moment, compare with 10 documents which has to, uh, has to be submitted to authority three years ago. It is also important to recognize the active influence of international uh, uh, business lobbying organization like, like European Business Association, which has been actively promoting the interests of uh, clinical trials operators and thus helping to minimize the bureaucracy. Companies can now hold constructive negotiations with senior governmental authorities in the country and as a result we have a very uh, mm, really very good updated regulations regarding uh, investigation product turnover uh, within the country and on sites. Okay, but uh, okay, we have uh, some positive and negative uh, notes. Uh, one of them, a new uh, requirements has been uh, introduced recently. Uh, the Minister of Health in Ukraine requires written permission for each batch of, uh, in every shipment, compared with previous uh, reg uh, regulation, which require one single uh, import approval for whole study. Uh, next news is uh, about uh, regulatory requirements for uh, importation procedure. In accordance with updated law, uh, each batch of ship, uh, shipped IP must be accompanied by a GMP certificate or to be confirmed that manufacturing process has, was performed in accordance with GCP principles. Or uh, shipments, shipment must be accompanied by appropriate memo to file approved and signed by qualified person. So as in conclusion, the Eastern European logistics services can save both time and money and may contribute to successful clinical trials companies. Uh, the key to your success in Eastern Europe is the growing clinical logistic industry in Eastern European countries and in Ukraine particularly can offer customers a high quality service equal to that of a Western European logistic service providers Choosing the right partner for clinical trials logistics is the key to opening up a whole new world of opportunities in Eastern Europe. Thank you very much for your attention.